Hello and welcome back to Netflix channel. This is Rosemary Fernandez and today's video is a collaboration with Norris Medicals. We are going to introduce you to Dr. Nitina Bhuja who is an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and also, also Mr. Vikram Shetty who is the operations manager for Norris Medicals. Hi, good afternoon. Myself, Dr. Nitin Bhuja and I am from Mumbai. I am a maxillofacial surgeon and I represent Norris Medical in India. Norris Medical is a very innovative company which specializes in some kind of special implants like zygomatic, pterygoid and cortical and we are proud to have this line of implants in this part of the world and uh, basic idea of having this type of implant is that we don't want to leave any patient behind which is the motto of Norris Medical and I can assure you that if you start using zygomatic, pterygoid and cortical there will not be any job which we will leave behind because in almost all type of clinical situations we can place implants as well as we can rehabilitate them immediately. Hi, my name is Vikram Shetty and I am the operations manager for Norris Medical Dental Implants in India. As a company, nowadays we get a lot of questions from the dentists. What is the need for a longer implant? Because as a trend right now, a lot of companies are getting with a shorter implant. I like to ask the doctor today, what exactly is the US to use a longer implant rather than a short implant? Uh, actually, it's a very good question because I feel a lot of dentists have this question in mind that if we can manage a case with a shorter implant, then why there is a space for a psychopathic implant? You know, the thing is that I'm a clinician and I'm a private practitioner. So if I can manage a case using a shorter implant, then yes, I would definitely go for a shorter implant. But the main indication for Zygoma implant is that in which no kind of conversion implants are possible. And another thing which you need to keep in mind is that shorter implant doesn't mean that you can use a 3.5 mm by 6 mm of implant. A shorter implant means that you have to use a 4.5 mm by 7 mm of implant. Okay? So, which means that the patient should have that much of width to incorporate a 4.5 mm diameter implant. And we are talking about cases in which there is no height available to no width available. So that, that kind of cases in which a conventional implant is not possible, those are the cases which are indicated for zygoma implants. That is one thing. And second thing is that when you do go for a shorter implant, you cannot immediately rehabilitate that patient. But when you use a zygoma implant, you can immediately load the processes within two or three days, depends upon the lab support what you have. So the main thing is that there is no graft which has to be used, it's a graftless approach, and you can opt for immediate loading, which is not possible in the short term. I think this answer by Dr. Nathan was really very helpful for all our viewers who will watch this video. Now another question which is coming in mind for most of the dentists is, when exactly do we use a short implant, a long implant, and what exactly is the difference between them? So I would like doctor to explain a bit on this. Yeah, yeah. So basically if you see all the companies, they have a normal range of 8mm length implants till 13mm implants. Okay? So anything shorter than 8mm, I would consider them as a short implant. Like a 5mm implant, a 6mm implant and a 7mm implant. I would consider these lengths as a short implants. And from 8mm till 13mm, I would say as a conventional implants. And uh, the length starting from 16mm till 60mm, I would consider them as a long implants. And if you see 90% of the companies, they manufacture implants from 8mm till 13 or probably 16mm. So we are one of the very few companies which uh, manufacture and market implants for 16mm, 18mm, 20, 22, 25 and up to 60mm, like for Zygo. So this is the basic difference. As all of you know, Norris Medical has come out with a wide range of implants, which most of the companies in the market, I would say that we are the only company with certain of the implants like cortical implants, zygomatic implants with an extra maxillary approach and pterygoid implants. So I would like to ask the doctor, he, what will be the indications or when to use which particular implant in what kind of cases. So I think this will be very helpful to our listeners, to the viewers who will watch this video. 
So as Vikram said that we have some innovative designs which no other company has, like in particular the cortical implant, the pterygoid implant and the zygoma implant. So let's start with the cortical implant. So cortical implant generally comes uh, with the height of 10 mm till 16 mm. And the use is that, that wherever, if you have a particular case like in which you graft that area, so in those conditions, I would recommend cortical implant. Another indication is that when you have a very thin width. So let's start with cortical implants. So now our cortical implants are very, very unique and it's one of a kind product by Norris Medical. It gives you a bicortical stabilization. You can engage the second cortical plate, you can engage the buccal palatal or buccal intercortical plate. It has very, very sharp threads. So it helps in a very, very good primary stability as well as immediate loading in compromised cases like uh, extraction socket, filled implant sites, thin ridges. So the, the main indication for cortical implant is that when you have a very, very thin ridge of approximately 3, 3.5 mm of width is available, so you can drill by just 2 mm of width and insert this implant directly. So for these type of cases, cortical implants will play a very important role in high clinical practice. Second type of implant is pterygoid. So Norris is the only company in the world uh, in two-piece implantology which makes a dedicated pterygoid implant design. So what do we mean by dedicated? That the shape is specially designed for a pterygoid region. So there is a special osteotome and a special long drill to place a pterygoid implant. And once you do the drill, you can directly insert a 4.2 mm pterygoid implant and which again helps you for immediate loading. Now third implant is a very very unique product of Zygomatic. So it's known as Zygoma implant and it has a very hybrid surface design. It is smooth collar as well as rough surface. Rough surface is only 13 mm and uh, rest everything is smooth collar which prevents the peri-implantitis. And we have a specialized surgical kit to place an extra maxillary approach of Zygoma implant which is very helpful for any clinician if he's planning to do a case under local anesthesia. Unlike Zygomatic implant from other company in which you have to take patient under general anesthesia. So from a patient point of view, it becomes very easy for them to get convinced for a Zygoma implant surgery. So in this way, I would say, I would end my uh, talk that we have unique and uh, patented products which makes the job of a clinician very easy. Thank you. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was really informative. A big thank you to Dr. Nithina Mulja and Mr. Vikram Shetty from Norris Medicals for giving us so much of information. And do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.